we have to do this <laughs> a bit of a hill his mother said if you're coming to school you got to bring your sister because they have to go and work in the fields so this kid carries his one-year-old sister everywhere a lot of those kids don't eat in the morning a lot of those kids the only place they do eat is at that school i thought going up that mountain mary's meals can reach everywhere that there's a hungry child do you see what happens after a simple meal it just came to life. Love reaches everywhere. Parkview Sports Medicine's integrated sports medicine team is built to serve the needs of all athletes in all sports. Our team's only goal is to improve athletes in every facet. PSM offers performance training to help athletes get better on the field, dedicated athletic rehabilitation and physical therapy to help them get better off of it, certified athletic trainers in our PSM schools providing daily support to our athletes, and a specialized orthopedic walking clinic when injury strikes. Call 260-266-4007 to speak to our care navigators or visit parkviewsportsmedicine.com to learn more about what we can do to improve athletes at all levels. Parkview Sports Medicine. Become more. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the 260's dedicated high school athletes and fans. 
each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. Joint pain, sprains, strains, or a possible broken bone? Make the Parkview Ortho Express Walk-In Clinic your first stop when you have an orthopedic or sports injury. Parkview Ortho Express, located at the Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse, gives you access to quick care and orthopedic physicians when you need it most. Get x-rays, treatment, and referrals to Parkview Care, all in the convenience of a walk-in clinic. Call 260-266-4007 for more information. This is an invitation to join a movement propelled by people who care and members who have a share in the place they bank. Good morning, Sam. So when you have the chance to get your first home loan, you know an expert will guide you every step of the way. Or when it's time to buy your new car, you'll be treated like more than just a credit score. Good news, ProFed can get you that payment. This is an invitation to a place where simply belonging can help enrich your whole community. ProFed Credit Union, you're invited. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Someday, you'll get your knee replaced. Someday, a new hip. Someday can be sooner than you think. At Parkview Ortho Hospital, we want to help you get moving again. So we offer a full range of options for joint pain, including outpatient joint replacements and personalized solutions. It's time to reclaim your life at Parkview Ortho Hospital. Because someday is today. Learn more at parkview.com slash ortho. Parkview, we believe in better. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Come see us in Decatur at the 2733 Auto Mall and shop seven brands in one location. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple. Transparent. It's going to be a special night at Southside tonight as the Archers are going to retire the number of Bernard Pollard, one of the best defenders to ever come out of the Summit City. There he is right there with the Chiefs. Um, how great for Bernard Pollard, who really has made a name for himself on Twitter with all of his NASCAR analysis. Yeah, it cracks me up. Uh, I love his – I mean, I'm not a big NASCAR guy, but I do check it out because Bernard's hilarious. He, he, he was so gracious to us. Back in uh, 2006, my brother and I went out to – he's a big Chiefs fan. We went out and, and, and covered the game. I was able – you know, I'm all about props, Jeff, so I have to show, me, show you some props. We went out to the game, and they won on a last-second field goal against San Diego. Phillip Rivers was the quarterback. LaDainian Tomlinson was the running back for San Diego. Mm. The, the chefs, as I call them, because I'm not a Chiefs fan, I call them the chefs. The chefs won on a last-second field goal. I had to make sure my brother didn't, like, you know, go crazy, you know, because he was a credentialed media member. Here's my, my media pass from that. October 22nd, 2006. Um, that was Bernard's rookie year. And then here's the glove that he wore, NFL-issued glove that Bernard gave me afterwards when I interviewed him. 
um, in the locker room, and he was kind enough to hand me this. And I'm going to get that framed, but before I get it framed, I want to have him autograph it and put it with my collection of goodies. So at any rate, I know we need to talk about Southside and Snyder. So uh, Southside, a tough start, 0-3. I think everybody thought they would struggle, certainly to this point. Are they improving? I think they are. I think they're doing some decent things on both sides of the ball. The offense needs to continue to get better. Talking to Roosevelt Northley, the coach, he, he wants his quarterback to make better reads while his quarterback is his son. <laughs> so I'm sure they have some interesting dinner conversations and, and, and film eva evaluation. And, but as he matures, Roosevelt Norfleet Jr., the quarterback, as he matures and evolves as a quarterback, that offense, I think, will get better. Matt Morris last week, a 98-yard uh, run against Bishop Dwinger, granted against backups. But 98 yards, uh, well, it says 97 there. depends on who you look at. Either right. way, it's the longest run, according to my research, against a Bishop Dwinger defense in the history of Bishop Dwinger football. Hmm. So Matt Morris can put that feather in his hat. And um, – that's a pretty, pretty neat opportunity for him. Now, their reward for this week, the Snyder Panthers, who have awakened after an 0-2 start. I think everybody was thinking first 0-3 start in Snyder history. It did not happen. Luke Hoppert emerged as the quarterback. He didn't necessarily have a fantastic game by any measure, but I think maybe gave them a different look. Uh, Langston Lavelle, you know, another Everybody thought Tyrese Brown. I think they have a nice one-two combo going now as far as running the ball for Schneider. And that defense, Ison Robinson, got clearance shortly before the game by the IHSAA, the transfer from Illinois. His father, of course, is Jabbar Robinson. He made a difference as a starting defensive lineman. Not that they needed him, but you need him, right? You need, you need every athlete you can get when you're 0-2 and you've been beaten by 30 points to open up the season. Uncharacteristic of Snyder. They answered the bell last week, 27 to zero over Concordia. Yeah, and there you see a, a picture of the quarterback, Hopper. Um, that's quite the backfield right there when you have the three different um, running factions, bringing the sophomore Langston Lavelle in there as well. Um, I think you're going to start seeing some misdirection. They're getting a little bit tricky in the backfield with all their runners. Yeah, they're doing a little bit more there. They, they, they love to run their pistol. Sometimes it gets, um, I don't know, a little predictable, I think, for Schneider fans. But they were doing a little bit more in terms of, like you said, misdirection, pulling some linemen, doing some things there. The ground game looked much better. The defense looked much better. Some of the corrections they've made on the back end, again, it's hard to see because Concordia did not have their starting quarterback. You know, you know how much are we going to learn from the corrections they've made with their secondary because they played – you know, the two best passing offenses, arguably, in the state in Northside and Carroll to open the season. Good evening and welcome to Southside High School here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, for tonight's SAC Conference football matchup between the Southside Archers and the Snyder Panthers. Tyler Sorg here, and we got a good one on hand for you tonight. Two teams looking for a win, both of had a tough start to their season. Southside starting the season 0-3, but improving offensively every week. First week at home against Concordia, falling 0-37, but then getting a touchdown at Northrop week two and putting up 13 at Bishop Dwanger in a loss last week. Now Snyder, on the other hand, coming into tonight 1-2, avoiding an 0-3 start getting a big 27-0 win at home against Concordia, but they did lose week one against Northside 17-47 and week two at Carroll 12-42. So a big night for the Southside community. Earlier this evening, Southside legend Bernard Pollard, the former Purdue Boilermaker and NFL star Super Bowl champion, having his jersey retired, the first jersey retirement in Southside football history. So we'll take a moment and show you a little bit of that. So just a great moment for Bernard Pollard, his family, Southside High School, and just a really cool 
thing to see here live. So before we get going, we will take a moment to read a word from our sponsors. Today's broadcast is brought to you by SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports, like our Facebook page, Summit City Sports, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Kelly Automotive Group is Indiana's number one automotive group. With over 1,000 new vehicles and 500 pre-owned vehicles to choose from, please visit drivekelly.com. Simple, transparent, reliable. Tom Steel Tire has been servicing the Fort Wayne area for over 40 years. They will help you find the perfect tire for your vehicle and other auto repair services like brakes, wheel alignments, engine diagnostics, and more. Big Eyed Fish has been around the Northeast Indiana area for generations. Like their Facebook pages for updated promotions. Enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne in a family-friendly environment at Big Eyed Fish. You're invited to join ProFed Credit Union, where we get to know you to better serve you. Sign up online in five minutes or stop by a branch. Join ProFed today and start owning your financial future at ProFedCU.org. At Ottenweller Contracting, we invest in our customers by providing peace of mind during the entire process. From bid to build, visit OttenwellerContracting.com. Summit Volleyball trains and builds the highest quality volleyball players in the area. From ages 5 to 18, our players are equipped with the elite level skills and a foundation of life skills. Jump on board. Together, we can reach the summit. Anderson Heating and Air Conditioning is dedicated to providing the best possible solution for your home or business. Visit AndersonCoolHeat.com. El Azteca Mexican Restaurant has been a Fort Wayne favorite since 1973. El Azteca Mexican recipes are sure to tantalize your taste buds. Visit LAztecaRestaurant.com. iCryo specializes in whole body cryotherapy, body sculpting, cryofacials, infrared sauna, and compression therapy services. Check out Jalen Smith's signature location on Coliseum Boulevard by Blaze Pizza. At Parkview Sports Medicine, it's game on. We are the region's largest integrated sports medicine team, providing athletes specialized services from improving their performance to recovering from injuries. To learn more, go to parkviewsportsmedicine.com. All right, so south side will kick to begin the game. Nice kick down the middle. And a nice run. Winding up at about the 39-yard line, Kamari Juarez. So now a first and 10 for the Panther offense. Luke Halpert, starting quarterback tonight. Langston Lavelle in the backfield. Three receivers right, Snyder in the pistol formation. Lavelle gets the handoff. He'll run left, go through some tackles, and get out to the 50-yard line for a first down. Take another look at that. Nice run by Lavelle. Second down. The throw behind Caden Benjamin. So second and ten. 
for the Panthers. Going back to the pistol formation. Albert. And flags fly. It's looking like a false start. Snyder's going to move back. So that will set up second and 15 from the 45. Halpert in the gun. He'll give it off. No, he'll keep it. Option play. Pitch out to Juarez. And Juarez will pick up about six yards on the play. Getting pushed out just past the 50-yard line. So now a third and nine. First third down for Halpert and the offense. Bringing in Santiago Ortiz a little closer on the right side. Halpert takes the snap looking for Ortiz. He will make the reception, but it'll only be for a gain of four. So now a fourth and five. And it looks like the punt team will come out. So back to punt is senior Trent Ryder. Ryder rolls out to the right, kicks it, gets a nice bounce. That will go inside the 10, inside the 5, and stop down at the 4. So now... First offensive possession for Roosevelt Norfleet, the third in the Archer offense. And this team showed last week that was capable of long touchdown from inside the five. Matthew Morris scoring last week on a 98-yard touchdown run. Norfleet under center. Gives it off. Going back inside. Looks like it'll be a gain of about five or six. Looks like a gain of six. Lattimore on the carry. Norfleet again under center. And a jump. Looks like it came from the Snyder side. So that will set up a first and ten. Norfleet to go from under center. He'll give it off left side. Jack or Xavion Hollister. Nice play by Hollister. He'll gain about eight. One receiver to the right. The give goes to Matthew Morris. And Morris will get what looks to be enough. Yes, first, first down. First down for the Archers. So nice job thus far by Southside. Picking up those tough yards. Not trying to do anything too flashy, just moving the ball and getting first downs. Already two on the night. So blown.
see if it's just the officials getting situated or if a timeout was called. Well, they'll get the clock moving, so Norfleet under center. He'll give it off. Left side run. I believe that was Xavion Hollister. And this could be a winning recipe for Southside if they're able to just continue to pick up these tough yards on the ground and mix in a couple of productive pass plays here and there. Give to Hollister, right side, powering ahead, but not much yardage to be had there. He'll only gain about a yard. So eight minutes to go from Archer Field in the first quarter. Give outside to Hollister, trying to break out of the tackle, but will only pick up one yard. So that brings it to fourth down, and it appears the offense will stay on the field. So a fourth and three from their own 39. Interesting decision here. Norfleet under center, see if they're just gonna try and get Snyder to jump. Now it looks like they're going to change the play. Maybe not. So Southside will take a timeout. We will as well. Keep it right here with Summit City Sports. I choose to do whole body cryotherapy after practices, games, and training. It reduces inflammation in my muscles and allows me to move more agile throughout my profession. I became a believer in iCryo after my severe injury in college at Notre Dame, tore my ACL, and I was looking for ways to recover, ways to get back on the field. So I'm thankful for iCryo. Now it looks like Snyder taking a timeout. So we will take another break, but continue to keep it here with Summit City Sports. Excited about the place that it put us and the quarantine hit and we knew we had guys that were going to work hard at home, but just the idea that we could get a lot of them together working hard at a location with people that know what they're doing. Uh, was really beneficial and I think you know that training did a great job for those guys to kind of get the ball rolling for them and, and uh, they came back in, in the end of June, early July and it's like they hadn't missed a beat. They were flexible, they were fast and ready to lift and run and start playing football so it was a huge benefit for us. Welcome back, Trevor Hapner back to kick. Nice high flying punt. Received by Kamari Juarez. He'll run to the left side, trying to cut up field. He'll be out past the 35-yard line. That's where they'll call it. So a big gain on the play by the Snyder offense, and they're set up in prime position to begin this drive. So Halpert in the gun. He'll keep it. He'll power through some defenders. And 
Get a nice gain of three yards on the play. They'll say it's a gain of two. So Halpert and a flag flies on the near side. Illegal procedure, so we'll send Snyder back to the 42 yard line. So Luke Halpert from the gun. And he's looking to throw. Pass complete to Darren Swanson. So a short gain, but makes it a third and manageable, third and six from the 31 yard line. Down to 5.50 in the first quarter, still no score. Snyder's second possession of the night. And the give to Lavelle. He'll gain two yards on the play. And it's looking like Snyder will keep its offense out on the field. So a fourth and four. A long four. Just inside the 30-yard line. So two Receivers left, one receiver right. Lavelle rolling left. Nice reception by Juarez. Juarez down at the 11 yard line. So Kamari Juarez, the big pickup on fourth down. Give going inside. Lavelle down inside the five. So Snyder working with two receivers and a flag. Officials saying uh, the Snyder team is going to be too close to the sideline. So just a sideline warning, no penalty on the play. But both teams being told to back it up a little bit. Halpert gives it off to Lavelle. And he'll get down just around the first down marker. Be about a yard short. So third and one from the three. So a jumbo... Formation. Give is to Tyrese Brown, and he's in for the touchdown. So let's take another look on our traction AP replay. Brown just powering through easily. PAT 
up and good. Christian Hernandez. So we will step aside. Snyder striking first here at Southside. Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Come see us in Decatur at the 2733 Auto Mall and shop seven brands in one location. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple, transparent, reliable. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Welcome back. Back to kick for the Panthers, Trent Ryder. That kick looking like, yep, it will go out of bounds. The flags fly and a costly penalty for the Panthers as the Archers will get a favorable starting position at the 35-yard line. Solid start on that first offensive possession for the Archers, saw some promising running. Offensive line got a, a good push. Some nice running by Xavion Hollister, among others. So Norfleet with the tight formation set up under center. He'll give it, no, he'll keep it looking to throw. And that ball intended for Kamari Bragg, but out of bounds. So a second and 10 from the 35 for the Archers. Dante Malone will be wide to the right for south side. Norfleet with two backs behind him. Looking to throw, rolling right. Throws ahead and passes broken up, but intended for Xavion Hollister. It's looking like a Southside player is down, so we will step aside, but keep it right here, Summit City Sports. The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Come see us in Decatur at the 2733 Auto Mall and shop seven brands in one location. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple, transparent, reliable. Looks like Hollister will be able to get back to the Archer sideline all right. So 
after two incomplete passes. It will be a third and 10. from the 35 yard line. Malone out wide to the right. Norfleet in the gun, takes the snap, looking to throw. And unable to get through the pressure. Sack on the play by Markel Keel. So we'll take a look at that for on our Traction AP replay. Keel just keeping his eyes on Norfleet and able to get through for the sack. Pressured on the punt, but a nice high flyer. Oh, and that was touched. Touched by Snyder, but out of bounds. So it will remain Panther football. So... Nice drive on the last possession by Snyder. Some good passing plays by Halpert. Halpert, a sophomore quarterback, six foot tall. And out there with him is Tyrese Brown, the running back who plowed it in from three yards out for the touchdown on the previous drive. Halpert rolling left, looking to throw, and his pass is complete out to Darren Swanson. Take another look on our Traction AP replay. Swanson with a nice cutback. Setting up a second and one. Ball given to Brown, and he'll plunge through for a six-yard gain. So another promising start to the drive for Snyder. Halpert in the gun. Looking to throw, and that one incomplete, intended for Kamari Juarez. So now down to a minute 36 in quarter one. And it's a second and 10 for the Panthers from the 50. Halpert, keeping it, open field ahead, gets a nice block, Halpert to the second level, and he's down at the 31-yard line. There is a flag on the play. And a hold called. So that will be a crushing penalty what could have been a big gain of 19 yards now they'll set up at their own 49 yard line for second and 11 swing of over 20 yards there some nice running room and a big drive for Tyrese Brown out to the 41 or 36 yard line, 37 yard line. Job, 
So first and ten for Halpert in the pistol. He'll give it off. Brown running through the line and getting a solid carry on the play. He'll say it's a gain of about five. So this very well could be the final play of the first quarter down to 30 seconds to go. Halpert will be in the pistol. And that play blown up at the line. A nice job by the Archer defensive line setting up third and five. Big tackle by Marcus White Allen. So that will set up third and seven, but it looks like the clock will run out on the quarter. So we will take a break and pick up at the other end here in a moment on Summit City Sports. This is an invitation to join a movement <laughs> propelled by people who care and members who have a share in the place they bank. Good morning, Sam. So when you have the chance to get your first home loan, you know an expert will guide you every step of the way or when it's time to buy your new car, you'll be treated like more than just a credit score. Good news, ProFed can get you that payment. This is an invitation to a place where simply belonging can help enrich your whole community. ProFed Credit Union, you're invited. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Welcome back. Going into the second quarter, Snyder leaving, leading Southside 7-0. Tyler Sorg here with you on the call. So now a third and seven from the 34 yard line. South side on the last play. Doing a nice job of applying some pressure, blowing up the run at the line. So now Halpert Looking to run on the keeper. Tries to spin through. He'll pick up two, but it won't be enough for the first down. So now a very interesting decision as the Panthers are in that sweet spot of the field on the 32-yard line with a fourth and five. Looks like the offense will stay out. Now earlier, south side with about a fourth and five, kept the offense on the field, ultimately decided to call a timeout, but tried to bait the Panthers into jumping. They didn't. We'll see if Snyder intends to run a play here or if they're looking to draw a penalty. Halpert, he'll take the snap. Rolling left, throwing and that is off the hands of tight end Carter Wartman. So a turnover on downs. So a nice defensive stop by the Archers and Norfleet will Take the team back out on the field for a first and 10 from the 33. Norfleet on the give. And a positive run on the play by Matthew Morris. He'll pick up three and set up second and seven. 
Morris with a nice 98 yard touchdown run against Dwanger last week. So see if he can get in the end zone again. Norfleet on the give and a nice cut. Now we'll go for gain of about two. Devontae Malone on the carry. So it will set up a third and five. Bringing Malone across the field. Won't hand it off this time. Though going over the middle, a nice reception and more yardage for Ashton Johnson. Now there is a flag down on the near side. So officials picked up the flag. No penalty, but what a play by Johnson. Take another look at that soon. But now on the plus side of the field, pass complete, working to the outside and a gain of eight for the Archers. Kamari Bragg on the reception. So the passing offense starting to click for the Archers. You can definitely see the improvement from earlier in the season. Archers in a nice rhythm. Now a second and two from the 29-yard line. Norfleet takes the snap. Throws over to Malone, but he will... Lose some yardage there. Lose about two. So a third and four. With 9-10 to go in the first half. Norfleet. Looks like Southside will take a timeout. Trying to bait the Panthers into jumping, but unsuccessful. So we will step aside, but keep it right here with Summit City Sports. I choose to do whole body cryotherapy after practices, games, and training. It reduces inflammation in my muscles and allows me to move more agile throughout my profession. I became a believer in iCryo after my severe injury in college at Notre Dame, tore my ACL, and I was looking for ways to recover, ways to get back on the field. So I'm thankful for iCryo. Welcome back to Archer Field, Southside High School. A third and four for the Archers who have put together a really nice drive. Norfleet takes the snap, rolling left, looking to throw. And the reception made right around the first down marker. I believe it was Malone 
on the reception. And so it is a first down. It's now first and 10 from the 27. Norfleet. He'll give off to Morris, and Morris will run off tackle to the left side and pick up some nice yardage. Looks like maybe not. Looks like he'll only be out for a, a gain of one. Certainly looked like he had a couple more, but a second and nine now for the Archers. Norfleet taking the snap and giving it off. And a nice run by Morris. He'll get some more this time. Gain of about four. Setting up another third and five for the offense, this time from the 22. Southside moving quickly. Three receivers left for Norfleet, and he's looking to throw. And that play stopped before it really had a chance to develop. Looking to go to Javante Malone, but Snyder had that one sniffed out. So now with 7.01 on the clock, a fourth and five at the Snyder 22-yard line. Southside down to one timeout. They used one earlier on a fourth down, trying to get Snyder to jump. Norfleet, he will take the snap and throw. And a nice reception made by Matthew Morris, who's in for the touchdown! And this south side sideline has come alive with excitement. Definitely the best play of the night for the Archers on fourth and five, nonetheless. Cadell Wallace out to kick the PAT. And it is up and good. Tie game here from Southside. We'll take a break. Keep it right here with Summit City Sports. About the place that it put us when the quarantine hit, and we knew we had guys that were going to work hard at home. But just the idea that we could get a lot of them together working hard at a location where people know what they're doing uh, was really beneficial. And I think you know that training did a great job for those guys to kind of get the ball rolling for them. And, and uh, they came back in, in the end of June, early July, and it's like they hadn't missed a beat. They were flexible, they were fast, and ready to lift and run. And, Start playing football, so it was a huge benefit for us. To gain an edge on your competition, it starts with a free one-on-one -on -one performance assessment. Call 260-266-4007. Parkview Sports Medicine. Become more. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We believe in sharing positive stories and are excited to set the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. Welcome back to Southside High School. 6.55 on the clock. And Cadell Wallace set to kick off for the Archers. Back deep to receive Tavarius Easley Jones.
and a low kick, but whistles blown and looks like Southside may have been over the line before the kick, so they will move back and kick once again. But that looked to be a low kick, so an opportunity to possibly turn this into a better, better kick and pin the, the Snyder Panthers a little deeper. Wallace, short kick and he will receive it. Taken by a Dorian Rogers. So he will step out at the 29 and that's where the Panthers will set up on offense. Missed opportunity there for another six yards had that gone out of bounds, but not the end of the world. And we've seen this Panther offense move the ball, but in a 7-7 game, difficult to make mistakes like that. Luke Halpert. Looking to throw. Billingsley evading tackles in the backfield. And he'll pick up about eight yards. Cadrell Billingsley with a nice reception. So now, second and two from the 37 for Snyder. The give is to Brown, and Brown will plow ahead for a nice gain. Excuse me, Billingsley on the carry. He'll plow ahead for a gain of about seven, pick up the first down, and Set up Snyder at the 45 yard line. Halpert gives it to Billingsley, spins out of a tackle, and will be brought down for a gain of one. A little over 5.30 to go in the first half. We'll see if Snyder will continue to keep it on the ground. Halpert rolling left, but nowhere to go. Surrounded by archers. Let's take another look on our traction AP replay. Looks like Mike King and Jalen Lattimore getting involved defensively. Third and long. Halpert in the gun looking to throw. Nearly intercepted. Looking for Juarez, but last touched by Devontae Williams. Nearly had it. Tough break, but now big opportunity here for Southside. Is there deep to receive the punt? Devontae Williams back and 4.36 to go in the first half. Kick is up and will bounce and stop around the 26-yard line. Go, 
looking like there may have been a penalty on the last play. Not sure. Looks like, looks like there was a penalty. I believe, at least. Yeah, false start. So, Snyder will move back five yards and re-kick. This time from their own 36. So, now a fourth and 19. We'll see if the Archers can get a better position than the 36 yard line. Kick is up and definitely a shorter kick, so. This one will go down just past the 30, so change of about three yards, but ultimately good call. Accepting the penalty and Norfleet and the offense take the field and look to add to their total. Have 4.15 to work with and we'll see if they put it in the air, or keep it on the ground, try and drain some clock and maybe punch it in with a little time left in the first half. Starting out in a tight formation, handoff and not much room to work with for Matthew Morris. Morris picking up about a yard and a half. We'll call it a second and eight with 3.50 to go. So Norfleet in the shotgun gives it off. Morris through the line and that inside run will gain four, maybe five. He'll say a gain of four. So now a third and three from the 37 down to 315 in the second quarter. Norfleet in the gun. Again, giving to Morris. Morris with some room to run. Cutting, and he'll be taken down around the 50-yard line. A nice run by Matthew Morris. Morris has been quite the effective runner. Let's take another look. We have a moment on our Traction AP replay but a first and 10 from the 50 for Southside. Norfleet, again giving to Morris. Morris powering through some tacklers. He'll pick up about three and a half yards. Just over 2.20 to go in the half. So, wouldn't be surprised to see the Archers start to throw as time is ticking away. Now under 2.10. The give and Morris will fall forward for a gain of about three, but a flag is down on the field. And it is going to be against the Archers. And they'll move it back. A holding call. So now a second and 18. That penalty may be a killer for this drive. We'll see what Roosevelt Norfleet Jr. schemes up for his offense. Norfleet looking to throw. Pass is short, and it is intercepted. 
but Southside may have pulled it away. Looking like it was initially intercepted by Jackson McCullough. Oh my goodness. Ripped away by Malone. We'll take another look on our Traction AP replay and Malone does appear to rip it away from McCullough. What a play. So a third and three with 105 on the clock. Ball is dropped and Norfleet has to fall on it. So a fourth and nine. And it looks like the offense will stay on the field. We'll see if Southside staff is looking to drain some clock, prevent Snyder from potentially taking a timeout, trying to... Yeah, it looks like the clock's just gonna run. So down to 16 seconds. So while we have the opportunity, let's take a look at the big 13-yard Matthew Morris run that really gave this drive a spark. But it, between the fumble penalties and everything else we've seen in between, the ball is just past the 50-yard line with 16 seconds on the clock, a fourth and nine And see if Southside tries to put up a miracle play with 16 seconds to go. Maybe believing that they're able to run about 10 seconds off. It'll only be one play to keep Snyder out of the end zone. But it looks like they will punt. Snyder has to make a quick defensive change, bring out the punt team. Tavarius Easley Jones and Kamari Juarez back to receive. So Southside not appearing to take any risks here. Flag is thrown, and that high punt will bounce right around the 30 yard line and roll out of bounds. And it looks like. False start may have been committed. And indeed it is a false start. So we will have a re-kick from the 40, 46. With eight seconds to go. We'll see if Snyder is able to have any time for one last play, and if so, if they decide to make an attempt at the end zone. Kick is away, and a better kick will go down inside the 20, two seconds on the clock. And Snyder will take the field for one final play, barring any sort of penalty. Is a flag down. So maybe we'll have a third punt. Penalty is, I believe.
believe, declined. And indeed, the penalty will be declined. So we'll see how aggressive the Panthers look to be here. From inside their 20 yard line. 7 7 ball game. So just at the 20 yard line, first and 10. Looking like it will be a kneel down. So that will do it for the first half here from Southside High School. Snyder 7, Southside 7. We've got a good one on hand. Keep it right here with Summit City Sports. Where we have to do this? A bit of a hill. <laughs> His mother said, if you're coming to school, you got to bring your sister because they have to go and work in the fields. So this kid carries his one-year-old sister everywhere. A lot of those kids don't eat in the morning. A lot of those kids, the only place they do eat is at that school. I thought going up that mountain, Mary's meals can reach everywhere that there's a hungry child. Do you see what happens after a simple meal? It just came to life. Love reaches everywhere. Parkview Sports Medicine's integrated sports medicine team is built to serve the needs of all athletes in all sports. Our team's only goal is to improve athletes in every facet. PSM offers performance training to help athletes get better on the field. Dedicated athletic rehabilitation and physical therapy to help them get better off of it. Certified athletic trainers in our PSM schools providing daily support to our athletes and a specialized orthopedic walking clinic when injury strikes. Call 260-266-4007 to speak to our care navigators or visit parkviewsportsmedicine.com to learn more about what we can do to improve athletes at all levels. Parkview Sports Medicine. Become more. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the 260's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. Joint pain, sprains, strains, or a possible broken bone? Make the Parkview Ortho Express Walking Clinic your first stop when you have an orthopedic or sports injury. Parkview Ortho Express, located at the Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse, gives you access to quick care and orthopedic physicians when you need it most. Get x rays, treatment, and referrals to Parkview Care, all in the convenience of a walk in clinic. Call 260 266 4007 for more information. This is an invitation to join a movement propelled by people who care and members who have a share in the place they bank. Good morning, Sam. So when you have the chance to get your first home loan, you know an expert will guide you every step of the way. Or when it's time to buy your new car, you'll be treated like more than just a credit score. Good news, ProFed can get you that payment. This is an invitation to a place where simply belonging can help enrich your whole community. ProFed Credit Union, you're invited. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. 
Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Someday, you'll get your knee replaced. Someday, a new hip. Someday can be sooner than you think. At Parkview Ortho Hospital, we want to help you get moving again. So we offer a full range of options for joint pain, including outpatient joint replacements and personalized solutions. It's time to reclaim your life at Parkview Ortho Hospital, because someday is today. Learn more at parkview.com slash ortho. Parkview, we believe in better. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Come see us in Decatur at the 2733 Auto Mall and shop seven brands in one location. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple. Transparent. 7-7 seven, seven between Snyder and Southside at the half. Tyler Zorg here with you. It's been a fun night here from Southside High School. Earlier got things started with Bernard Pollard, the Southside legend, getting his jersey retired. Number 10, the former Purdue Boilermaker and NFL Super Bowl champion, the Baltimore Ravens. We'll take a minute to go through with some of the first half highlights. Take a look here. Touchdown run by Tyrese Brown that got Snyder on the board. Find some other replays for you. A nice Snyder run. By Luke Halpert. And then Roosevelt Norfleet with the touchdown throw on fourth and five to Matthew Morris. So while we have a moment, we will take an opportunity to read a word from our sponsors. Today's broadcast is brought to you by SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260Sports. Like our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Kelly Automotive Group is Indiana's number one automotive group. With over 1,000 new vehicles and 500 pre-owned vehicles to choose from, please visit drivekelly.com. Simple, transparent, reliable. Tom Steele Tire has been servicing the Fort Wayne area for over 40 years. They will help you find the perfect tire for your vehicle and other auto repair services like brakes, wheel alignments, engine diagnostics, and more. Big Eyed Fish has been around the Northeast Indiana area for generations. Like their Facebook pages for updated promotions. Enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne in a family-friendly environment at Big Eyed Fish. You're invited to join ProFed Credit Union where we get to know you to better serve you. Sign up online in five minutes or stop by a branch. 
Join ProFed today and start owning your financial future at profedcu.org. At Ottenweller Contracting, we invest in our customers by providing peace of mind during the entire process, from bid to build. Visit ottenwellercontracting.com. Summit Volleyball trains and builds the highest quality volleyball players in the area. From ages 5 to 18, our players are equipped with elite level skills and a foundation of life skills. Jump on board. Together, we can reach the summit. Anderson Heating and Air Conditioning is dedicated to providing the best possible solution for your home or business. Visit andersoncoolheat.com. El Azteca Mexican Restaurant has been a Fort Wayne favorite since 1973. El Azteca Mexican recipes are sure to tantalize your taste buds. Visit elaztecarestaurant.com. iCryo specializes in whole body cryotherapy, body sculpting, cryofacials, infrared sauna, and compression therapy services. Check out Jalen Smith's signature location on Coliseum Boulevard by Blaze Pizza. At Parkview Sports Medicine, it's game on. We serve every level of athlete with our integrated sports medicine team, including the region's only specialized athletic rehab facility. Learn more about our services by logging on to parkviewsportsmedicine.com. One more break, and we'll be back for the second half here from Southside High School. We have to do this. <laughs> a bit of a hill. His mother said, if you're coming to school, you got to bring your sister because they have to go and work in the fields. So this kid carries his one-year-old sister everywhere. A lot of those kids don't eat in the morning. A lot of those kids, the only place they do eat is at that school. I thought going up that mountain, Mary's meals can reach everywhere that there's a hungry child. Do you see what happens after a simple meal? It just came to life. Love reaches everywhere. Parkview Sports Medicine's integrated sports medicine team is built to serve the needs of all athletes in all sports. Our team's only goal is to improve athletes in every facet. PSM offers performance training to help athletes get better on the field, dedicated athletic rehabilitation and physical therapy to help them get better off of it, certified athletic trainers in our PSM schools providing daily support to our athletes, and a specialized orthopedic walking clinic when injury strikes. Call 260-266-4007 to speak to our care navigators or visit Parkview sportsmedicine.com to learn more about what we can do to improve athletes at all levels. Parkview Sports Medicine. Become more. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the 260's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. Joint pain, sprains, strains, or a possible broken bone? Make the Parkview Ortho Express Walking Clinic your first stop when you have an orthopedic or sports injury. Parkview Ortho Express, located at the Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse, gives you access to quick care and orthopedic physicians when you need it most. Get x-rays, treatment, and referrals to Parkview Care, all in the convenience of a walk-in clinic. Call 260-266-4007 for more information. This is an invitation to join a movement propelled by people who care and members who have a share in the place they bank. Good morning, Sam. So when you have the chance to get your first home loan, you know an expert will guide you every step of the way 
or when it's time to buy your new car, you'll be treated like more than just a credit score. A news profit can get you that payment. This is an invitation to a place where simply belonging can help enrich your whole community. ProFed Credit Union, you're invited. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Someday, you'll get your knee replaced. Someday, a new hip. Someday can be sooner than you think. At Parkview Ortho Hospital, we want to help you get moving again. So we offer a full range of options for joint pain, including outpatient joint replacements and personalized solutions. It's time to reclaim your life at Parkview Ortho Hospital, because someday is today. Learn more at parkview.com slash ortho. Parkview, we believe in better. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Come see us in Decatur at the 2733 Auto Mall and shop seven brands in one location. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple. Transparent. Welcome back to Southside High School 7-7 at the half. Moments away from the second half and it's been a lot tighter of a game than I think many may have expected. Snyder was a heavy favorite but Southside has really done a nice job of holding their own and having good offensive possessions not committing the number of penalties that we've seen them commit earlier in the season. There have been some here and there, but uh, definitely have cleaned things up on the offensive end. Snyder, on the other hand, the running game just hasn't gotten going to, I think, the level that it can for Snyder. This is a team that ran it all over the field against Concordia last week, and we just haven't seen that. But give credit to Southside. The Archers have done a nice job not allowing those big runs, allowing some, but nothing major to where it's a 15-yard gain after a 7-yard gain and a 13-yard gain after that. So Southside doing a nice job of containing the Snyder running game. And for the Southside offense, it's also been interesting to see what that passing offense has been able to come up with. Norfleet off to his best start of the night. Nearly had one intercepted, but a miraculous play late in the second half by Javante Malone ripping the ball away from Jackson McCullough of Snyder, who nearly intercepted it. So we'll see what the Snyder offense can come up with in the second half, see if they can find a spark, sustain some longer drives, avoid more penalties, uh, see if Luke Halpert tries to sling it down the field a little, a little bit more. But we have a little over a minute, so we will take one quick break and be back and start with second half here with you from Summit City Sports. This is an invitation to join a movement <laughs> propelled by people who care and members who have a share in the place they bank. Good morning, Sam. So when you have the chance to get your first home loan, you know an expert will guide you every step of the way. Or when it's time to buy your new car, you'll be treated like more than just a credit score. Good news, ProFed can get you that payment. This is an invitation to a place where simply belonging can help enrich your whole community. ProFed Credit Union, you're invited. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, 
and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Welcome back. Third quarter set to begin. Starting offensively in the second half will be south side as Snyder is all set to kick. Javante Malone and Devante Williams back to receive for Southside. Looks like the teams are going to switch sides of the field. Got a nice breeze going up here in the press box. Cool and crisp evening here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. About 64 degrees outside. Trent Ryder all set to kick for the Panthers. And as I mentioned the breeze just a second ago, football falls off the kicking tee. Ryder will kick from the right hash. Malone and Williams deep. Nice kick. Will go to Malone just inside the 20. Cutting back inside. And he'll be down just past the 15 yard line. Set up shop at the 16. So Roosevelt Norfleet, the third, and the offense back out on the field. Starting off in a tight formation. Sending Morris out to the left. Give is to Hollister. So Xavion Hollister with a short gain on first down. Picks up one. Now from the 17. That'll be second and nine. Norfleet under center. One receiver to his right. Gives off to Matthew Morris. Going out wide to his right. Evading tacklers and getting to the second level of the defense. Looks like he'll be about a yard short of a first down. But a nice run by Matthew Morris on second down on the sweep. Matthew Morris has definitely been the best back for this Archer offense tonight. Third and one for the offense. Three seconds on the play clock. And looks like 
Norfleet will keep it himself, power ahead, and pick up the first. Archers have done a nice job consistently picking up first downs tonight. Overcoming some penalties as well in the process. Clean start to this drive thus far. Now with 9.50 to go in the quarter, Norfleet from under center. Left side give to Morris. Morris, solid gain getting out past the 30 yard line for a gain of four. So a second and six opportunity from the 31. And this Southside team is looking a lot more disciplined tonight. Norfleet again giving to Morris. Morris not much room to work with. Will gain positive yardage, but probably only about one. So a third and five. They'll say third and four. Ball at the 32. Looks like it is a third and five. So a south side timeout. Third and five after the break from Summit City Sports. I choose to do whole body cryotherapy after practices, games, and training. It reduces inflammation in my muscles and allows me to move more agile throughout my profession. I became a believer in iCryo after my severe injury in college at Notre Dame, tore my ACL, and I was looking for ways to recover, ways to get back on the field. So I'm thankful for iCryo. So with 8.26 to go in the third quarter, it is a third and five for the Archers from their own third 32-yard line. Norfleet under center. Play action. Rolling right. Being chased down. And completing the pass to Javante Malone. Let's take another look at that. But there is a flag down. And an illegal man downfield. See if we can see that on replay. Looks like there may have been a lineman well past the line of scrimmage on the pass play. So tough break, especially after the impressive play action play. So that will make it a third and 10, but certainly have some faith here in this south side offense. They've been able to throw as good as they probably have been all season. Norfleet getting some nice help from his line. Hasn't been pressured a ton tonight. Norfleet looking to pass. Looking over the top of the defense, the ball's caught! And down inside the 20, a big chunk play! Ashton Johnson on the reception. Let's take another look 
on the Traction AP replay. Norfleet lofting that one up. Jo Johnson getting behind his man. Huge pl pass play. Biggest one of the night. So now a first and 10 from the 17. So a timeout called by Southside. So we will step aside, keep it right here. 7.48 in the third with you from Summit City Sports. The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. Morris running, getting some nice yardage, plowing ahead inside the 10-yard line. He'll be marked down right around the 10, making it a second and three for the Archers. Outside run, Hollister powering ahead. And he'll get some positive yardage but not much. Move it ahead, maybe about a foot, so a third and about two to go. Just over 6.30 to go in the third, and a big opportunity for the Archer offense. Norfleet under center looking to throw. Looking left. And a pass interference clearly committed in the end zone. Pass intended for Javante Malone. So a pass interference will set up a first down and goal for the Archers. Oh, two penalties. So an illegal block called as well, offsetting penalties. So they will replay the down. From the nine yard line, Norfleet. Malone out, out to his left. Looking that way again, ball nearly intercepted. Ultimately incomplete, but nearly a devastating play for the Archers, and it will bring up fourth and two. Offense staying out on the field. Southside, just 10 seconds on the play clock, fourth and two. 
Down to five seconds on the play clock. Norfleet from under center. Ball is loose. And it's recovered by Snyder. Ison Robinson on the fumble recovery. What a devastating play. Lost the snap and Robinson was right there to scoop it up. So a first and 10 for the Panthers from their own 10. Halpert gives it off. Run on the play by Tyrese Brown and he'll pick up about three or four yards. He'll say three. So now down to 5.45 in the quarter. The give. And another solid run by Tyrese Brown. And he'll be good for a first down. Halpert gives the ball to Brown. And Brown chugging through the heart of the Archer defense. Tackle on the play by Jermaine Freeman. Halpert and a penalty flag. Offsides called on south side. So a fresh set of downs for the Panthers. We may be seeing the start of the momentum changing after a very nice drive by the Archers. Panthers moving the ball well. Halpert keeping it, and he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Say so he gained one. Snyder keeping the tempo up on offense. Give on the right side to Brown, and Brown picking up some nice yardage, setting up a third and short. Brown has been an effective runner tonight. Nothing too flashy, but a guy that's been able to pick up tough yardage. Wouldn't be surprised to see him get it here on third and short. And he does, and he's stopped in the backfield. A big stop, and a necessary one for Southside. And immediately, looks like the punt team will take the field, so that is just what the doctor ordered for Southside. A big third down stop. Now, Trent Ryder back to kick for the Panthers. Ryder getting some pressure. That ball will go out of bounds around the 37 yard line. They'll mark it at the 40. So, although the fumble on fourth down was costly, Southside 
not letting the momentum shift too far in Snyder's favor. So now a first and 10 from the 40 for the Archers with 3.11 to go in the third. Norfleet in the gun, moving a man to his left. The give is to Matthew Morris. Morris, not much positive yardage to be found there. He'll pick up about two. So a second and eight. But if you're this south side team, you'd certainly think a good idea might be to continue to feed Morris. He gets the ball again here, picking up another couple yards on the left side. Now a third and six for the Archers from their own 44-yard line. See what the offense cooks up here. Norfleet with Morris to his left. Fakes the handoff. Norfleet rolling right. Pass is complete. Good for a first down. And that goes to Ashton Johnson who had the big time reception earlier. We'll take another look on our Traction AP replay. Johnson able to pick up a couple after the catch. It's now a first and 10 from the 47. Give is to Malone. And he's pulled down kind of awkwardly on the near side of the field. Gain of one. So with under a minute to go in the third, one, maybe two more plays. Back to pass. Norfleet, nice reception, but the ball comes out. We'll see if they call that as complete. They'll say reception made and a fumble. So Kamari Bragg credited with the reception. Looks like he did have a couple steps, but Southside able to recover, and they'll have a first and 10. So now from the 34, it's looking like time will run out on the third quarter. And indeed it will. Southside driving, looking to go up here. Fourth quarter ahead from Summit City Sports. The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. 
transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Come see us in Decatur at the 2733 Auto Mall and shop seven brands in one location. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple, transparent, reliable. Welcome back. Fourth quarter set to begin. And on what's been a special night for Southside as Bernard Pollard's jersey was retired earlier before the game. The Archer is now driving on the 34-yard line set up for a first and 10. Norfleet to throw on the near side and a reception made by Kamari Bragg. He'll fall forward and see where they mark it. No gain on the play. Maybe a gain of about half a yard. Last time Southside came up short. Now Norfleet looking deep. And the ball is broken up. Deflection on the play by Caden Benjamin. So... Incomplete there to Javante Malone, setting up a third and ten. Matthew Morris in the backfield, Norfleet in the gun, rolling left, looking to throw, going deep. And the pass is incomplete. Knocked out of the hands of his receiver. It's now a fourth and ten for the Archers. Ball on the 34-yard line. Interesting decision here. See if Southside will punt, and I, I think that's the right call here. Potentially pin Snyder deep, and if the defense performs like it has been able to tonight, maybe you're able to get the ball back right around where you are now. So I think this is a great decision. Kick up and away, and... Sideways flyer. Only about a 10 yard punt. So, tough break on the punt for Southside. Down to 10.46 in the fourth. And Snyder will retake the field. Luke Halpert looking to set up a long touchdown drive here. Halpert gives the ball off. To Langston Lavelle. So Lavelle with a nice run on first down, picking up five yards. Halpert in the pistol. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. And the pass is broken up. Intended for Darren Swanson. There is a flag down. 
We'll see what the call is. Oh, and a defensive pass interference. Can hear some Southside supporters unhappy with that call, and that will advance the ball to the 45 yard line. Tough break. It's now 10 14 to go. Halpert in the pistol. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw, and making the reception, Kamari Juarez. Gain of five for Juarez. Another pistol formation. And it looks like Southside jumped, but saying that Snyder moved. Call will go against Southside. Will set up a second and short. So costly penalties. And the ball given to Lavelle. He'll pick up the first and then about five more yards. So, ball now at the 39, and Snyder looking to keep up the tempo. Halpert in the pistol. Throwing, and that ball broken up at the line. Reflection by Hapner. Second and ten, Halpert keeps it, evading tacklers, now trying to get outside. He'll be stopped just inside the 35-yard line. He'll pick up about four yards. They'll put the ball to 35. So a third and a little less than five. Pistol formation for Halpert. Two receivers on each, or two receivers, one on each side. And the pass nearly intercepted there. Devontae Williams. So now a fourth down opportunity. We'll see what the Panthers decide to do here on fourth. Two receivers left, one right. Halpert in the gun, pistol formation. Halpert looking to throw. And the reception is made for the first down. Carter Wartman. So a big play during an extremely critical time. It's now down to 8.15 in the game. Snyder with a fresh set of downs on Southside's 29 yard line. Give is to Lavelle. And Langston Lavelle charges ahead for a gain of about four. So a second and six from the 25. Give again is to Lavelle and not much yardage to be found on that play. And 
Gardner with the stop. And now a third and seven. Critical third down play here. Hapner looking to throw left side. And the pass is incomplete, looking for Santiago Ortiz. It's now a fourth and seven, and being a little further out, it's looking like Snyder will bring the field goal unit out. Still no score in the second half, so with 7.08 to go, this may be Snyder's best opportunity to put points on the board with as tough as yards have been coming for both teams. Kick is up. And it is no good. No good for Trent Ryder. Turnover on downs, and it will be Southside ball. 7.03 to go here in the fourth. Keep it right here with Summit City Sports. I choose to do whole body cryotherapy after practices, games, and training. First and 10 from their own 20 for Norfleet in the offense. Give on the play. Right side handoff to Matthew Morris. He'll gain two. Handoff on the play. Morris trying to get outside. He'll be spun around and tackled. Loss of one. So now a third and 10 from Southside's 20. We'll see. Certainly expect a passing play. See what Norfleet is able to come up with. Johnson and Malone have been the favored receivers tonight. Three seconds on the play clock. Norfleet rolling left, looking to throw. That pass is complete. Big reception for Southside. Javante Malone with a clutch reception on third and 10, keeping the drive alive. A gain of 17 yards. Down to 525 in the fourth. Big drive here for the Archers. And Southside takes its final timeout. So he will step aside. Southside all out of timeouts. 519 in the fourth with you from Summit City Sports. Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Come see us in Decatur at the 2733 Auto Mall and shop seven brands in one location. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple, transparent, reliable. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, 
and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach. So welcome back. Southside all out of timeouts. 519 to go in the fourth. A first and ten from the 38. Norfleet gives it off. And Morris will lose some yardage on the play. So a loss of one, maybe two. So a second and 11. Norfleet in the gun. Three receivers to his right. And the give to Morris. And no yardage to be found there. He will get back to the line of scrimmage. And a 4-10 on the clock. And a third and 10. Norfleet back to pass, getting some pressure. And he'll throw that one, and it's intercepted! Pass is intercepted by number 25, Jonathan McCullough. Big momentum changing play. We'll take another look on our Traction AP replay. Norfleet getting some pressure. Looked like he might have just been heaving that one up, trying to throw it away. And McCullough there to make the clutch play and put the offense back out on the field on the south side 45-yard line with four minutes to go. Last possession, a missed field goal for the Panthers. So now Halpert... Gives it, and Brown on the carry will pick up two yards. Halpert keeps it. So a gain up to the 38-yard line for Halpert. So a third and three from inside the 40. Halpert rolling right, looking to throw. And his pass is complete. Pass complete to the tight end, Carter Wartman. Setting up a first and 10 from the 28 with 2.45 to go in the game. Halpert. Running left, he's keeping it, staying on his feet, and he'll be down inside the 15-yard line for a first down. Two twenty to go, Halpert in the pistol. The give to Brown. Tyrese Brown with some positive yardage. He'll be down inside the 10 yard line for a gain of four. Under two minutes to go. Three receivers right. Brown in the backfield. Brown gets the carry. But no yardage to be found. He may have lost one. 
And indeed he will lose a yard on the play. Down to 130 to go. Halpert looks to be changing the play. Receivers changing over to the right side. 12 seconds on the play clock. Halpert has a man in motion. Option play. Halpert, room to run, and he's in for the touchdown. Halpert with the touchdown with just over a minute to go. Halpert, a nice fake on the option play and had room ahead, able to get in for the clutch touchdown. PAT attempt high up and good by Trent Ryder. So Snyder, 14, Southside 7, 102 to go. Can Southside pull off the comeback, tie it up, send this game to overtime? We'll be back after the break to find out here with you from Summit City Sports. I choose to do whole body cryotherapy after practices, games, and training. It reduces inflammation in my muscles and allows me to move more agile throughout my profession. I became a believer in iCryo after my severe injury in college at Notre Dame, tore my ACL, and I was looking for ways to recover, ways to get back on the field. So I'm thankful for iCryo. One oh two to go. Trent Ryder set to kick for the Panthers. Southside out of timeouts. Live ball on the field. Malone. Malone cutting back up the middle of the field. And the ball's out. We'll see what they say. A scramble for it. And it is Snyder Ball. Snyder Ball with 51 seconds to go. Southside out of timeouts. And a crushing sequence of events for Southside. So, looks like it will be a Snyder win, bearing a wild sequence right here. Fifty one seconds, and Halpert with a kneel down on first. So one more, and that should be able to run out the clock. So Snyder will move to 2-0 and o on the season. Southside will fall to 0-4. So next week, Snyder will head to head home for a big matchup against Homestead. And Southside will be at home as well for a matchup against Wayne. So final score, Snyder 14, Southside 7. 
We'll take one quick break, come back and wrap things up here from Southside High School. You're watching Summit City Sports. Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Come see us in Decatur at the 2733 Auto Mall and shop seven brands in one location. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple, transparent, reliable. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. This is an invitation to join a movement propelled by people who care and members who have a share in the place they bank. Good morning, Sam. So when you have the chance to get your first home loan, you know an expert will guide you every step of the way. Or when it's time to buy your new car, you'll be treated like more than just a credit score. Good news, ProFed can get you that payment. This is an invitation to a place where simply belonging can help enrich your whole community. ProFed Credit Union, you're invited. Welcome back to Southside High School. Final score, Snyder 14, Southside 7. Snyder moves to 2-2 two two on the season. Southside falls to 0-4. Tyler Sorg here with you. We'll take a look at the scoring plays on the evening. Brought to you by Traction Athletic Performance. First is a touchdown run in the first quarter by Tyrese Brown. Plunging through the middle and putting the Panthers on the board first. Then that was followed up later in the first half. In the second quarter, Matthew Morris on the fourth down reception, charging into the end zone, putting the Archers on the board. But then late in the fourth, the play that put the game away a touchdown run by Luke Halpert with just over a minute to go keeping it himself on the option play and putting the Panthers in position to pick up their second win of the season so that will do it a historic night here at Southside High School Bernard Pollard we can show that one more time, having his jersey retired pre-game. The former archer getting a nice moment with his family and friends. First jersey retired in the history of Southside High School. So final score. Snyder, 14, Southside, 7. This has been Tyler Sorg with you for Summit City Sports. Thank you, and have a wonderful night. Sure we have to do this. A bit of a hill. <laughs> His mother said, if you're coming to school, you got to bring your sister because they have to go and work in the fields. So this kid carries his one-year-old sister everywhere. A lot of those kids don't eat in the morning. A lot of those kids, the only place they do eat is at that school. I thought going up that mountain, Mary's meals can reach everywhere that there's a hungry child. Do you see what happens after a simple meal? It just came to life. 
Love reaches everywhere. Parkview Sports Medicine's integrated sports medicine team is built to serve the needs of all athletes in all sports. Our team's only goal is to improve athletes in every facet. PSM offers performance training to help athletes get better on the field, dedicated athletic rehabilitation and physical therapy to help them get better off of it, certified athletic trainers in our PSM schools providing daily support to our athletes, and a specialized orthopedic walking clinic when injury strikes. Call 260-266-4007 to speak to our care navigators or visit Parkview sportsmedicine.com to learn more about what we can do to improve athletes at all levels. Parkview Sports Medicine. Become more. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the 260's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. Joint pain, sprains, strains, or a possible broken bone? Make the Parkview Ortho Express Walk-In Clinic your first stop when you have an orthopedic or sports injury. Parkview Ortho Express, located at the Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse, gives you access to quick care and orthopedic physicians when you need it most. Get x-rays, treatment, and referrals to Parkview Care, all in the convenience of a walk-in clinic. Call 260-266-4007 for more information. This is an invitation to join a movement propelled by people who care and members who have a share in the place they bank. Good morning, Sam. So when you have the chance to get your first home loan, you know an expert will guide you every step of the way. Or when it's time to buy your new car, you'll be treated like more than just a credit score. Good news, ProFed can get you that payment. This is an invitation to a place where simply belonging can help enrich your whole community. ProFed Credit Union, you're invited. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Someday, you'll get your knee replaced. Someday, a new hip. Someday can be sooner than you think. At Parkview Ortho Hospital, we want to help you get moving again. So we offer a full range of options for joint pain, including outpatient joint replacements and personalized solutions. It's time to reclaim your life at Parkview Ortho Hospital, because someday is today. Learn more at parkview.com slash ortho. Parkview, we believe in better. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however.